You're here leading a march. You've left the Russian consulate. Tell us, why are you leading this march? What are you here for? Well, a few reasons. The Russians are fighting the Khazarian Mafia in their homeland. They're cutting the head off the snake of the group that has been destroying this planet for generations. What does that have to do with Australia today, here and now? Because they control this country like they control everywhere else, and the Russians, along with many other nations and many other militaries, are actually fighting a subterranean war to exterminate vermin from the planet. How does that relate to the anti-mandate message that so many are speaking about today? Because the mandates in COVID are just one part of a larger scheme to depopulate the planet. We have been robbed, we have been raped, we have been killed for generations. And the mandate, directed by the government and enforced by the police and provided for by the big farmer, have been exterminating the people. Many it's of your all part of the same plan. Many of your former colleagues, previously of the Ozcons and many others, don't share the same views that you're speaking about today. In fact, they decry them and condemn them. Does that make you think twice about the <laughs> path that you're on? <laughs> no, if they could read and write, took their heads out of their backsides, they would see for themselves. As we have said from the very beginning, do your own research, folks. As I've said many times, don't trust me. Make up your own mind. But do read you, your own work. Do you really think these messages have enough broad appeal in order to win a seat to try and achieve some change? Oh, you betcha. Are you kidding? The four majors, and uh, and you can throw Palmer's fifth party in that as well, uh, the fetid carcasses are falling apart and they know it. It's all coming down. These people are fast asleep. They have injected themselves and their kids and they are going to be crying. These are the ones that wanted us jailed. And we always said it's a free choice. They wanted us jailed, they wanted us in concentration camps, they wanted our rights removed from us. Yet here we are, hoping that we are wrong. I would be more than happy. I would be ecstatic to be proven absolutely wrong. Because what it means is the people aren't dying. But guess what? To go from, what, 50,000, 60,000 live births to five, and they can't figure out why? Ladies and gentlemen of Australia, ladies and gentlemen of the world, look at the data for yourselves. And if you can't work it out, it's on you. Last but we are happy to be wrong, but guess what? We're last right. Last one, what are your plans next? What are you doing next? What's next after this? Well, we get, we get into Parliament and then we provide evidence of crime committed by the polity, the judiciary, the bureaucracy and the constabulary. The whole purpose of this campaign is to get in, reveal evidence of crime, and we've given ourselves six months to do it. And in six months, we'll be in a position to show so much evidence of crime that people of New South Wales will stand up and demand the electoral system be cleaned up and a free and fair election be held so we can actually get back to governing ourselves. Thanks, Chairman Carter. Thank you so much.